today's video let's have a quick look at how dent coin has been performing um, since because btc is stabilizing right now as we speak um, and let's see quick look at uh, how the market looks like and see what's happening so it's been very stable around 0 0.002 mark so let's hope uh, there will be some sort of breakout happening very soon is most likely uh, it depends on uh, how BTC is going to turn out in the next uh, week or so so at the moment you can see it's a it's a nice uh, consolidation happening probably I would say this will be continuing for uh, one more week from there on I think there will be a chance for breakout but at the moment there's no such indicator for further spikes so you can see it's, it's pretty much stabled out here at this point of time and the technical standpoint of view i think it, it's, it's still looking uh, a strong buy for um, dent coin and uh, i was recently being asked about uh, what what are the uh, recent updates and uh, what's uh, with the with the wallet counts so i'm going to give a small uh, picture of how the dent metrics work so let's let's uh, quickly have a look over here this will give a indication as well so the tent token matrix works like this so at the moment tent wireless main wallet which is the uh, we call it as war chest that has roughly around 9.9 .9 billion tokens and then you have the dent um, app user and um, afterburner users and dentex wallet so that's pretty close to 24 billion and then you have the binance exchange which is the biggest uh, holdings where most of the people uh, do the trade for the dent tokens and then you have other exchanges which are holding 8 billion and then you have cold wallets uh, people uh, who hold the hold the uh, holdings in in um, cryptocurrency wallets and not in the exchanges what is a cold wallet a cold wallet is something which you create yourself uh, using wallets like coinbase trust wallet or exodus and you store it on your own wallets rather than storing it in the cryptocurrency exchanges so from this perspective you can clearly see that uh, pretty pretty awesome to see 25 percent of the supply is already in the hands of the mobile users so that is the power of uh, dent token to be honest but people don't realize and have a bigger picture of what is happening behind the scenes for dent token they always get scared by seeing the 100 billion supply on the exchanges but on the contrary it is actually very conservative as we speak um, as i showed you yesterday on the metrics if if dent coin is supposed to get 5 million token users 5 million app users and if every app user decides to lock 10,000 token you will you will see 50 billion tokens straight away wiped out from the cryptocurrency exchanges so this will create a natural organic pressure without any trade happening on the crypto exchanges so that is the that is that is how we can see shrinking of the tokens in the supply happening and more tokens getting into the hands of the app users so that's that's what i would probably want to highlight today and and you can clearly see the next couple of months we are going to see a very renowned very next version of uh, dent app with the ability to sell mobile data dent 4.0 that is in the making and that is there's quite a lot of anticipation in the market as we speak now so let's watch out and see uh, how this comes out because this is going to be a biggest update that dent has um, ever made in the past months so let's watch out and see how um, things uh, break out because uh, from my point of view that's a very very big uh, update for dent and we might see a lot of things coming up uh, in the next couple of months as well and i'll give you a small update of how the how the metrics looks uh, if 0.1 percent of the 0.10 percent of users choose to lock dent in the mobile app so this is just a metrics which i made 
from the top Asian countries. So if you look at this uh, small chart, you can see the top Asian countries by population are Bangladesh, Indonesia, China, India, Vietnam, Korea, Thailand, Philippines, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. They all are tourist destinations as well. And in, in those countries, the smartphone users, number of smartphone users are equivalent to their population. In some, some countries, even it's bigger than the number of people uh, in that country. So that's very interesting to see. And if, if just 0.1% of those users choose to lock 30,000 DEN tokens in the app, just I'm giving a very conservative higher value because if you, I, I was predicting for a 10,000 token uh, lock a year, but I'm just going to make it a little bit um, extravagant and making it 30,000 tokens. What if the DENT app users choose to lock 30,000 DENT tokens in the app? Then the picture looks pretty much something like this. So 0.16, which is 160,000 people. And this is, so if you make this conservative approach, you can see there will be 106 billion tokens you will need. So now you can see I haven't included any of the Western countries or the remaining uh, hundreds of countries. It's just only the top 10 countries that I include from, included from the South Asian list. So now you can see how much tokens you may need if everyone jump into the tent app and start storing the uh, tokens in the mobile app. That will create a huge pressure, price pressure on the cryptocurrency exchanges. That's what I've been keep on, keeping on saying from uh, Dent community supporters, as a community supporters, I would strongly suggest you to lock at least 10,000 tokens in the mobile app and contribute to the ecosystem. If you have to lock 10,000 tokens and if every individual of the mobile app user, if they all do the same, then there will be quite a lot of shortage for the Dent tokens on the crypto exchanges. So at the moment, you can clearly see roughly around 32 billion tokens are swirling around um, the cryptocurrency exchanges. This number will considerably shrink if, if this has to happen. Something like this kind of extensive locking of the tokens in the app has to happen. And remember, the next couple of months, they are uh, releasing something um, interesting one as well. So what they are proposing is what they are planning is they are planning to launch a new reward system to replace the existing afterburner. So the things in the making for the next two to three months along the pipeline are Dent Gigastro, which is expected to be launched in March 2021. And then you have Dent Exchange, which is getting a completely new interface in the, in the next com coming months. So let's watch out and see how that turns out because I have a high hopes that it's going to be very interesting to see um, replacing the existing um, ecosystem with a lot of renewed interest. So you can, people who haven't used Dent Exchange, you can go there and have a look at uh, different currencies and different currency pairs. And there is an exchange as well. Dent has an exchange behind the scenes where their tokens are bought against BTC and a trade is executed every time someone buys mobile data. So the token has utility as such, but at the moment there's no not much utility because initially the app was launched as a top-up mobile company, but since most of the telecom companies didn't cooperate with Dent Wireless, Dent Wireless emerged as a MENO in from 2020. So that that gave it gave uh, Dent a strong hold. Um, so so because of that now. Uh, Dent has a very good position as a MENO. So as of December 2018, there are roughly around 1,300 active MENOs operating in 79 countries, representing more than 220 million mobile connections, or approximately 2.46% of the total 8.9 billion mobile connections in the world. So eSIM, which is known as Electronic Subscriber Identity Module, will allow for out-of-box connectivity which means it is available to all users without requiring specific installation, offering improved 
ease of use. So MUNO has full control over the SIM card, branding, marketing, billing and customer care operations. So now since Dent Wireless uh, became a mobile virtual network operate, operator, they have now full control on the operational side of it. And then the MUNO buys network capacity usually as close to the base level as possible and invest in a service infrastructure of its own. So that's where Dent is heading actually. Uh, so you can very clearly see from January 2020, the focus of the Dent Wireless has significantly changed and we are going to have see a renewed um, version of the Dent Exchange coming up in the next couple of months. So that's Dent Exchange and then you have Dent um, new reward system is also coming so let's watch out and how and see how things play out because at the moment i, I have a strong feeling that they will be doing uh, pretty good uh, with getting more users in the next couple of months let's hold out and see how it happens and people uh, who don't know about the re recent research published um, apple has outsold samsung in the past quarter by 80 million by selling 80 million eSIM phones. That's a pretty huge staggering number. So 80 million just in three months, Apple managed to sell uh, that much handsets. And if you look at the entire 2020, there were like 1.35 billion mobile phones were sold out. That's a huge number. Now you can get an idea of how much mobiles are being sold out um, in the recent months. So that's why I, I keep saying that there is a huge chance that um, if we try to store just 10,000 tokens in the app, it could produce us, create a significant pressure, price pressure on the exchanges. But we have to wait and see how things turn out and see how that Starlink partnership happens as well. Uh, so we are expecting some updates there as well, but we don't, we haven't got, but it cannot be a partnership as well but we don't have anything on the cards at the moment as we speak and yesterday we got a announcement about dent uh, margin trading so that's a very interesting news and i checked uh, there's lots of trades happening on the um, the margin allowed is up to 3x so which is not too bad considering dent is um, one of the lowest altcoins in the coin market cap ranking so right now dent is standing around 145th rank on coin market cap so if things go very well I, I guess we could make it to the top 100 so they so hold hold on your fires if the market has to BTC has to fall down and uh, don't don't panic and sell your tokens just hold on and um, have a broader perspective and uh, I'm sure there will be a positive outturn coming out in the next two to three years time and let's all hope there will be um, significant updates on the um, app update coming up as well. So that's the bit I am very much anticipating on on the other side. And so the competitors for Dent, if you look, most of them, um, they are mostly focused only on providing um, selling eSIM plans with just playing around with the price and they don't have any of the uh, bigger picture of different products for different markets whereas Dent has, is positioned very well they have a very good um, positioning for offer, offering for different types of businesses like they have a B2B offering and then they have a B2C offering as well and people who haven't used um, Teams, Dent Teams I would strongly recommend you to try the Dent Teams as well so which is a very interesting product from Dent Wireless that has a very, um, that not that many people know about it yet, so which is pretty sad. But uh, from my opinion, they are doing very well in terms of uh, in terms of sharing and pooling your mobile data. And there are more. Uh, there, there was an interesting tweet from Dent uh, Wireless today about uh, how to use the eSIM and uh, and the um, so I, I would like to like uh, show a small video and show you how uh, the eSIM works seamlessly um, in the next couple of months so let's have a small video player here so if I
it's a very professional app uh, people who haven't downloaded the mobile app I would strongly recommend you to download the mobile app and give it a play around it's very easy and they have got a very rich uh, user interface So that, that video is, is very simple and easy to use and I hope a um, lot of people will understand how the ecosystem works and if they start using the app they will get an understanding of the different product offerings that Tent Wireless offers and let's have a quick look at the uh, tokens uh, in each scan as well. So as of now the number of token holders has increased by 120 holders since yesterday. So that number has been significantly increasing so that's a very good positive sign that a lot of people new people are showing up interest uh, with 10 token and uh, this is getting a very good uh, popularity because just two months ago a month ago the dent was on the 356th rank on coin market cap and right now we are standing at 145th rank which significantly jumped by 200 ranks up in the series so I would say it's probably another couple of to couple of months to six months time, then we'll easily um, get into the top hundred in the altcoins. It's not going to be very difficult to get into top hundred. The reason is, if you look at here, um, getting into top hundred would be like making a surge to just 0 0.003. If dent has to hit 0 0.003, that would 0 0.004. Probably that would this range would make it get into top 100 very easily so once it's in the top 100 you are going to see a lot of uh, youtubers and a lot of others talking about dent very actively so that once that happens you are going to see a very good spike and there is a bit of a rumor going on that dent could get listed on binance uk as well so if people who have been using binance they know very well that binance us and binance.com are the main platforms for global users and US users and exactly the for the European market Binance is uh, planning to launch uh, Binance UK version and there is some rumors going on that Dent could potentially get listed in Binance UK exchange that is a huge uh, uh, that would be a huge uh, because Dent have not got any new exchange listing in the past two years so taking into account if if we have, are lucky to get another new exchange that would provide quite a lot of liquidity in the European market so let's hope uh, that we could get some attraction on Binance as well so people who are, be, are using social media please um, tweet about um, Dent UK and get some attraction and we all know that uh, there's been lots of tweets um, sent to Elon Musk about um, Starlink and Dent wireless so I think he must be pretty much annoyed by now by seeing quite a lot of tweets come coming from the Dent community so yeah, that's pretty good we have created a huge noise um, with one of the biggest uh, entrepreneurs in the world and remember the reason uh, Elon Musk is getting into the telecom sector is because he knows very well that there is trillions of money um, made to be made so uh, he knows that Telecom companies are making huge lot of money and the advantage that Starlink uh, of Elon Musk has is they have their own satellite launching company as well so they can launch their satellites spin up the satellites at, at wish whenever they want to and they already got a um, telecom license operate telecom operator license in six different countries New Zealand China UK US 
and Australia. So they got the license now. And technically now they are making a very big venture into the telecom industry. So if we, as Dent community members, if we are lucky enough, we could potentially see a good partnership happening around here. It's just a speculation. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but we don't know it could happen or not. So, but if that has to happen, then we could see a lot of potential coming up um, on the on the token price. So let's uh, keep our cards uh, fingers crossed and see what happens um, in the next couple of months. But if the price goes down, just just uh, hold your cards and don't panic and uh, sell your tokens away because it's quite early stages for dent. It is just getting um, higher, warmed up, and there are quite a lot of milestones to be made. And you you have to have quite a lot of patience with regards to dent because dent is something which goes and moves up very very slow. Uh, it's not like one of those hype and dump uh, coins. So you have to have a lot of patience uh, in terms of um, getting attraction with dent. So let's let's keep an eye and see what happens and. Thanks, thanks for watching and people who are, who are interested in price discussion, please uh, sign up to the dent underscore price discussion telegram channel. So there you can see quite a lot of talks happening about uh, technical analysis side and uh, about price predictions as well. So yeah, have fun and have a good day and let's join another video very soon. Thank you.